Before we get started with our dissections, we need to make sure that we're safe. So make sure you have gloves, lab coats, and goggles. To start our dissection, let's get our pig and put it on your surface. We've been through a few dissections with this pig so far and our thoracic cage is already open. So that's going to make a lot of our job a lot easier. What we're going to do now is try to remove the respiratory system. We want to see the epiglottis. We want to see the larynx, the trachea, the lungs, and the bronchial tree. One big issue we have here is that all these muscles within the jaw are really tight in preventing us from seeing the epiglottis. So we're going to want to take a cut down the cheeks. It's going to make it easier for us to open up that jaw. And so we can see the epiglottis down its throat. And there's the epiglottis. Showing right in the center there. Little flap. That's going to help to separate out food and air. We want to remove that along with the rest of the larynx, but we don't want to damage too many things. So we're going to try to leave the jaw intact, cut around the epiglottis. I go on the underside here. You can feel around, you feel a ball inside of the throat. And we're going to make cuts on either side of that ball. Now let's remove the skin. We have the larynx exposed. This tissue right here is going to be part of the thyroid. And let's continue these cuts down the side of the trachea. Here's the remaining part of the thyroid right there. Let's carefully locate that trachea. tube with little ridges in it. Let's remove some of this excess material. You'll be able to see a really nice depiction of the larynx, the trachea, which is going to lead all the way down into the lungs. Now, on the back side of the trachea, we will see a esophagus as well. We want to leave that one in place for a future dissection. So let's just carefully excavate as much as we can around the larynx, including the epiglottis that we helped free up a little bit within the mouth. Now 
Now, since there is a separation between the trachea and the esophagus up at the larynx, we will have to cut the esophagus up at the larynx. Should be able to see the two tubes here. Front one is going to be the trachea. The back one is going to be the esophagus. And we're going to take our scalpel, run it along the back side, and cut off the esophagus from the larynx. There we go. Now you can see that little hole right here in the upper larynx. That is where the esophagus was then connected and helped with that separation using the epiglottis to close off the airway and separate that food into the esophagus right there. Trachea in the front, esophagus in the back. Now, since our trachea is freed up, we need to free up our lungs too. The lungs will have a little piece of connective tissue connecting their ends, the most inferior lobe, to the diaphragm. If you just run your finger along it, it'll just pop. There we go. Do it to the other side. It's a very thin connection. Should just pop. There we go. Now, should just be able to lift those lungs out. We have the lungs, the larynx, the trachea. Let's put that off to the side. Take care of our pig. And now we have our respiratory system. It's where our heart was, but was removed. With this, we can see the internal structures as we continually dissect. We should be able to see the vocal folds. So if we were to turn the whole thing around and make an incision on the back side of the larynx, if you make your incisions through without penetrating through the front side of the larynx, On the internal side of our larynx, we can see these little folds. It looks like a cut on this side and a tiny little slit on this side. Those folds here, there, are the vocal folds. They're going to allow for the vibrations and the resonance of the sounds. Trachea-wise, by the way, you can run your fingernail through the front side of the trachea. You can feel the ridges. But if you run it through the back side, it's very soft and smooth. What we're going to do now is peel away some of the bronchial tree. The way that we have to do that is by taking our scalpel without cutting, we're going to put it perpendicular to the lung and scrape away at the hilum where the arteries, nerves, veins, and primary bronchi enter into the lungs. And then just scrape away gently. The bronchial tree of the lung spreads through every part of it in order to deliver oxygen from the conducting zone through to the respiratory zone.
And so you can start to see some more of that branching of the bronchial tree within the lung. So there we have your larynx, trachea, lung with bronchial trees. Clean up your dissection and put your pig away. This is a model of the dissection that we just did. We can see a piece of the trachea along with this upper region, the larynx, and the thyroid cartilage. You can see the trachea split into the primary bronchi, which then enter into the lung. And we can see the two lungs. If we were to open up a lung, we could see these little structures here, which are going to be branches of the secondary and tertiary bronchi, the conducting zone that feeds into the lung. This structure along the top of the liver and the bottom of the lung there, that is the diaphragm. I hope that helped.